everybody. Welcome back. Right now we're looking at some dirty, filthy scammers getting caught red-handed. Hashtag oddly satisfying. They're getting sneakier and sneakier, I tell ya. Now they're doing like the delivery scams. Like I even got one today that said, you know, I had a I had a package incoming from Apple. Looks sketchy AF. Sketchy AF, and then you click the link, and then you probably pay for duty, you, you pay them like a dollar or something, and then your credit card's compromised, and you're screwed. And then you need a new credit card. Gotta have your wits about you, I tell ya. We've tracked down a scammer to his luxury apartment, and we're about to confront him face to face. Yeah, what's going on? Fine, of course fine. So it's a British computer? Are you f***ing scamming people? Are you f***ing scamming elderly people? No, sir. Yes, you are. No. What, are you yes, looking, you are. what are you looking for here? Waiting for package. Huh? What are you looking for here? No, it is no. Huh? No. Hey. What do you mean no? Don't no. tell me f no. So the gloves come off. When, wow, he lives in a luxury apartment, eh? Scamming pays well? I mean, it must, otherwise they wouldn't do it. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, you? I'm good. Where are you from? I come from Egypt. You? United States. Nice. Send something in Hebrew. I'm a crypto trader. What about you? More Hebrew. Uh, very cryptic devil images. Scary slender man stuff. Oh, that's kind of scary. I'm gonna have nightmares. Whoa. Whoa, the devil and oh, demons. Okay, great. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Just scare the shit out of them, you know? Like put a hex on them. That's always fun. I love putting hexes on people. A nice little hex. Just a small one. This is a little hex. Does the punishment fit the crime? I think so. Seeing as there's literally nothing law enforcement does, I think a hex works. <laughs> and this is your reminder to have your wits about you. You're getting smart. Oh, and you should also subscribe. Please, do it, do it. Come with me and you'll be in a world of shitty YouTube content. <laughs> If after watching today's video, you feel like you need some extra protection online, well, you're in luck because today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. You never can be too careful with the internet, I always say. It seems like there's always a threat you need to worry about from scammers to malware to people trying to steal your private information. NordVPN has launched their threat protection feature and you can use it to block trackers, malicious ads, and it steers you away from harmful websites and files. I've got NordVPN installed on all of my devices and I don't log on to public Wi-Fi without it. When you're using a VPN, you're not only surfing the internet safely and privately, but you are also going to get access to that content that isn't available in your country. And you can skip annoying ads. I'm sorry about those, by the way. You can connect with just one click or enable auto connect for zero click protection. And as of June 15th, NordVPN is now offering their Nord security bundle deal with three plans to choose from. A standard VPN, a VPN plus Nord pass, and a VPN with pass and locker. Get the exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash Charlotte Dobre. It is risk-free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. All right, let's get back to the scammers. victim do you see any Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome over there uh, yes I can see all my, oh, my look programs at hey AJ what's up just show him his own face hack his webcam show him what he looks like Oh, you're scared? You should be. The worst is when they just think they're so smart. But when a scammer tries to sell you a fake shit. Shit. I'd never scam you like you did to me. Cause I'm not a stupid dumb bitch. <laughs> Fuck off, I'm not giving you any of my money. You're gonna be blocked soon. I don't relate to you. <laughs> Just annoy them with your terrible singing. That'll teach them. I love how we're all collectively gathering to come up with ideas to get back at scammers. Oh, wait, ma'am, no, 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 you don't have to do that. Ma'am, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Why did you redeem it? Why did you redeem it? Are you angry? Why did you, you do it? Ma'am, why did you do this? <laughs> Hello? 
Hey, hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hello. You did not something. have to redeem this. You did not have to redeem this, ma'am. You did not have Why to redeem so this. Why did you do it? I think the phone. Why did you do it? No. No. You did not have to redeem this. Why did you do this? Why did you do this? This is added to you. Now you see what you did. Wait, 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 wait. Do you see what you did? Do you see what you did? Do you see? Do you see what you did? Do you see what you did? I mean, you guys don't really have very good customer service. They don't have good customer service because they're scammers. They're there to steal your money. Steal your money and ruin your life. Mm -hmm. How to get scammers to stop calling you? And one one was your emergency. Hi, my name is Sam with BIS Insurance. How are you doing today? 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> <laughs> now they're never gonna call That's again. That's smart. Oh, that is actually so smart. I'm gonna do that. I actually am. Although I've heard that like, it's just not good to pick up the phone at all. Like at all. Cause the minute that you pick up the phone, they think you're stupid, right? They think you're just like, well, it's probably a dumb old person. Let's just call back. We'll catch them when they're weak. When they're weak and drunk and not thinking properly. But maybe this is a way to get them to uh, cross your number off the list. So my friend got his account hacked, but instead of locking him, I decided to mess with the scammer. Hey, what's up, boss? Can you help me, please? I got some issues with my page. Tell me something only Hunter would know. So then he tries to get me to click on some kind of link. So I ask him again. Tell me something only Hunter would know. I know Hunter would take it as a joke and probably have a laugh about it. But instead he says, can you help me with it, yes or no? The plot thickens. Yeah, sure, bro. Just joking. What do you need me to do? What's your number? I lost some contacts. Bro, no way. I heard you dropped your phone off your parents' boat, but I didn't know it was ruined. It was a brand new iPhone 12 too. So then he tries to ask me again. Oh, just have your brother send it to you. He's in town, right? And he tries to get me to send my number again. I'm not going to send him my number, but I want to keep it going, so I say, yeah, hold on. And I send him a real phone number. Not one he wanted, though. Did you get it? Smart. Smart. You know what you should have done. The number for the FBI. For J. Edgar Hoover. Is he still alive? Let's just go with it. When you finally yeah, catch the guy die. that said he can turn your yeah, $50 car, into $500. You know Where's the bills at, bro? Oh, he's young. I don't have any bread on Come me. on. I'm broke. Yeah. What are you, you doing, you punk <laughs> ass kid? I see you're wearing Calvin Klein. Is this just your after school job? They're really starting them young, aren't they? Who wakes up and just decides, Mom, you know, I really want to be a scammer when I grow up. I mean, honestly, in this job market, I, I can kind of see why it happens. Why earn money honestly when you can scam innocent old people? <laughs> Guys, I've officially done it. I have successfully scammed a scammer. Now, I shit you not, this took me since March. That's how long this has taken me. Just to get $5 from a scammer has taken me nine months of commitment. Now this specific scammer lives in Nigeria. Now I know that because I put his username into the Instagram login and then I said that I forgot my password. And from there I was able to see his country area code, which happened to be Nigeria. And there are quite a lot of Nigerian scammers. This specific scammer is called a Cash App Flipper, and they claim to double your money if you simply give them it on Cash App. So if you were to give them $5, they would give you 10, or so they say. I was genuinely curious, so I tested this out back in March, and I sent him $5. He then took my money and didn't reply again until I told him that I had 10 Bitcoins. Now, I used Bitcoins because I knew that scammers love Bitcoins. The reason why scammers love Bitcoins is that Bitcoins are lost forever once you send it to them. Bitcoins are a currency that also don't need to be converted and therefore are much easier for scammers to process. Eventually, he gave me my $5 back because I asked for a refund, but I still wanted that extra five. So I kept going on about my Bitcoin 
and how I couldn't trust him to flip my Bitcoin until he could flip my Cash App money. And this guy did not budge, but I was playing the long game. As you can see, this message was in July, and now we're in August 7th, and now we're in October. And this guy would endlessly call me, but for months, and tell him that I was not going to flip my Bitcoin until he gave me my original Cash App flip. Here he says, let's get your coin flipped, okay? Hey Cole. And then I say, I want my original money flipped, $5 in Cash App. And he says, thought we had put that aside. He keeps going on, but I just keep ignoring him for months. I knew if I played the long game, greed would eventually get the best of him, and he'd eventually give me that $5 I wanted. It is now November, and he's still messaging me, but I still ignore him until he gives me my money. And lo and behold, this man finally sends me the $5 I wanted. I did not pay for this. This is five free dollars. I scammed a scammer. Wow. You did all of that for five dollars? I don't think that it's about the money, sweetheart. I think it's just about the pettiness. A plus. Excellent. <laughs> it's not popped out with that one. <laughs> Hey Jordan, how are you? I've been informed you received the payment. Did you receive it? Yes. You can deposit check online today. Okay, what do I do after I cash it? You will deduct your payment 400 and send the remaining to the vendor that will send the equipments to you. This is the exact scam that I fell for. Still going strong, eh? Okay, who is the vendor? That will be given to you when you are ready to send. We have different vendors and don't know which you should use yet. <laughs> Continue. Got it. Can I put $500 aside rather than $400 for gas fees since I have to go to the bank? That's the reason I said you can deposit check online also. And you won't need to go to a bank. I need to go to the bank, so I have $500 in cash in hand to go to Ulta after. We can give $500, but you can take extra 50 for gas. Okay, I will cash check, take out $1,400 for vendor and deduct $475 for gas, fees, etc. No, you will deduct 450 for yourself. Okay, sounds good. Let me know where to mail the remainder of the cash to. Okay, keep me posted. I cashed the check. I put $450 aside for myself. There was a $15 bank fee. I also have a lot of errands to run, so I was very hungry. And I ordered the shrimp and Parmesan stirloin from Applebee's, thinking it was only $8, but it was really $21.99. After that, plus my three spiked lemonades, it came out to a bill of $57. I tip because that's the courteous thing to do. There is $1,400 remaining for the vendor now. Where do I send it? Why did you spend that much? I honestly have been going through a hard time. If I'm being honest, I think Patricia Patricia spent the money. I do suffer with DID, split personality disorder, and I'm, <laughs> so Patricia's your other personality, I love it. I'm working on it, but sometimes she takes over. <laughs> Is there a Walmart store close to you? Yes. Proceed to Walmart. There's a particular card you will get at the store where you can send it to the vendor. Okay, leaving Applebee's will be at Walmart in eight minutes. You should be able to get one of the cards at Applebee's, I guess. No, I got removed from Applebee's. Security removed Patricia <laughs> for reasons I don't want to discuss. I'm at Walmart now. Kindly take a picture of the vanilla card you see and send to me to confirm it's the right card. Okay, I'm trying, but workers keep watching me. They think Patricia is stealing. I don't understand what you are saying. Send a full picture. Patricia! Patricia! I can't. That's the best photo I can get. Walmart workers told me not to take pictures in store. Is that the right card? Why would they tell you not to take pictures in store? They caught Patricia stealing here before. They do not trust me. You are to take two. Proceed to customer service to load 500 on each. Okay, done. Was about to leave, but noticed this top and had to grab it quick. I think you'll understand why. Nothing says I love you quite like this thing. <laughs> Did you get just one? No, I got two. One for me and one for Patricia. <laughs> take a picture of the front and back and send to me. <laughs> I don't think he means the t-shirt. <laughs> I mean the card. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the t-shirt. Did you want me to grab you one? <laughs> no, I don't need one. Send me the front back picture of the cards. There's only one card, other covered shirts and cat food. Here's the back of the card. I told customer service I didn't need the receipt. That's not possible. You must collect receipt. I stole a shirt from you anyways to try to make up for Applebee's mistake. I got back to Walmart and they caught me. <laughs> 
they're not happy with Patricia. Send the picture. Sorry about activation fee, that's out of my control. Good morning, just wondering when I will receive my next paycheck. Hello, good morning. It's Patricia. I really hope you didn't actually cash that check, babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's the issue there. You cash the check and the money comes out of your account. I hope you didn't cash it. You know what I don't understand? We are living in 2022. Banks still can't tell a genuine check from a fake check. You have to wait until they process the check for them to find out if it's a legitimate check. And then and only then will you find out that it's fake. My blow. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I would really like to meet Patricia. She sounds fun. Scammers after scamming a single mother of four for their rent money. Yeah, got them. It do be like that, don't it? Subscribe. I've got something that you